No, I can ride yet. Right, it's just gone about nine o'clock on Wednesday evening and I am just going to finish off uh, editing a video for Red Chip Poker. Uh, I did a review of my Big 55 uh, final table uh, from a few months ago. Really interesting actually because I haven't looked at that tournament and history for four months and uh, I can't have reviewed it at the time. So really interesting to see how I was playing four months ago. There were some things that I think I did really, really badly and some things I did really, really well. So uh, yeah, just really important to keep uh, constantly reviewing hand histories and then taking, you know, the ideas from those hand histories and you know, trying to develop them further. So, you know, maybe you see a concept like uh, seed bedding or triple barrel bluffing and you want to see like what you're supposed to do so then you can run those spots in PyoSolver and then you know look at different types of boards because there's no point just running one spot and thinking that you've mastered triple barreling because that's just not the case. Always review and yeah just keep it going and just study study study. Right I'm here with my main man little Dominic. How are you doing? <laughs> Cut. Start again. Right, I'm here with my main man, Dom. How you doing? No, yeah, not bad, not bad. So we haven't seen each other for what, like, a year? Probably a couple of years, to be honest. Might be a couple of years. It's been a long, long time. So I used to work with Dom. Uh, he was my apprentice. Yeah, I taught, and... I taught him everything he knew. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we haven't seen each other for about, well, you think it's two years. It's... It could, be, it could keep, be two years. You keep going off and playing poker in foreign countries, mate, that's why. Yeah, I know, right? So I'm back in Leeds for literally two weeks now. So I've got a bit of time to catch up with people who I haven't seen for a while, and, and that's why we're here today. So where are we? Roxy Ballroom. They've got various activities here. You can play pool, table tennis, you can see behind me. And we're going to go upstairs in a minute and play some crazy golf. So that should be pretty fun. We're going to catch up now. Um, and the next thing you'll see is a crazy golf montage. Okay, so after some perhaps dubious shots, it is neck and neck between us going into the ninth hole. How are you feeling? I, I, I'm calm under pressure, composed. You know, like I've been in these situations before, and I just know that I can, I can bring it home. I can bring the, I can bring the silverware home. I know I can. Well, let's see if he's all talk. Let's get on with it. Pressure's got to him. <laughs> well, how many shots did you take? Well, three. Well, that was definitely four. <laughs> no, there was three. I did one to there, one to the back there, and then one. Oh, uh, you missed it. Yeah, it was four. Probably was four in the end, but you've always got to try and outside yourself, haven't you? If you've ever seen Scooby-Doo, do you think Dom looks like Scooby-Doo? Comment down below if you think he looks like Scooby-Doo. Oh, no, it's not Scooby-Doo. It was in Borat. <laughs> It's not Scooby Doo, who is it? Shaggy, isn't it? Shaggy? I oh, know, do you like Scooby Doo or Shaggy? Well, Scooby Doo's a dog, give me the camera, you take your. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's neck and neck! If you get this in. Bit of a Western Supermare, I'm here in three, Dom got it in four, so this to tie, and the game's gonna end even. Although I'll win, I'm better. What does that mean? You've got to play it again. I just have to do a quick rock, paper, scissors. Go on. <laughs> Ready? One, One two, two, three. Oh, you've scissored, you've scissored us. That's the end. I don't think you can do it. You're not Deli Alley. I don't even know what they're doing. Okay, we're trying to do the Deli Alley celebration. Dom's gonna go first. 
<laughs> How'd you do it? <laughs> I don't know how I capitalize it. I think that's no. pretty close. That's not it though. Yeah, but it's pretty close. How do you get this finger around there? Because the thumb definitely has to come over there. Yeah, it's that, isn't it? It's a <laughs> <laughs> I like your idiot. He's done it. Good yeah. to see you, Mum. And you? Feel a bit Good emotional. I'll see you in another two years. Yeah. You uh, you want to give any sort of social media plugs? Yeah, I just shout out to my homies and all my boys. Um, everyone plugging it. Yeah, keep it real, yeah. Peace. It is Thursday evening. Just got back. And now it's time to speak to Trisha to record this week's Poker on the Mind. So, let's get on Skype and give her a call. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to throw it over to Trisha and see if she's going to fire it straight back again today. Trisha, how are you doing? Good morning. It is Friday. It's nine o'clock. And I'm just about to do a coaching session with Twitch streamer and YouTuber Carlin Cho. Good morning. How are you? Good to uh, good to speak to you again. You obviously want to be a little bit more snug. Um, obviously, if the player's not very good, let's say he's not very good or the blinds aren't very good, then you widen your range. But we're what we're doing here is sort of coming up with a sort of baseline default strategy that we can then adjust um, once we once we know more about our opponents. Okay, so just finished the uh, coaching session with Carlin Cho. Uh, probably going to put that onto YouTube uh, when I get back home in a bit. But now I am off for a massage. Okay, it is Sunday afternoon and I'm just out for a little walk by the canal. Um, when you spend most of your time in the office, whether it's coaching, playing, making content, whatever it happens to be, really important to get yourself out and uh, get some fresh air, get yourself into nature, see some green. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna walk up here and see the lock. Okay guys, it's Sunday evening and I'm ready to start the Sunday grind. Let's get it. Okay, it is 10 o'clock on Sunday night and we have fired 30 tournaments already and we are down to the last seven. So I'm gonna have some food now with the last seven and then once I've finished that, I think I'm going to record some content for YouTube. I'm gonna fire up the recorder, fire up Camtasia and uh, record my thought process and put it up on YouTube. Okay, so things didn't really go according to plans. I came back with seven tables with the intention of having some food and then firing up the recorder and just talking through my uh, thought process. Um, we busted five tournaments in 15 minutes and so we just have two left. Actually, no, we busted six because I fired another one uh, to try and fill the space, but now we've only got two left and uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to record my thought process for two tables. I kind of wish I didn't load this other one now, so I could have just put it, finished the session, but yeah, we'll see what happens. It's one of those spots when I like really could not care less if we get there or not. And the Queen of Spades are on the river, and we are eliminated. So, yeah, another Sunday. For some reason, like just playing one day a week, if that one day a week you know doesn't go particularly well for some reason I don't know why but it just feels like feels like it like it hurts a bit more and I really don't know why I played 31 tournaments today and I think I cashed like two <laughs> uh, so pretty brutal Sunday and it's always difficult to see yourself like not do very well not have a very good session and think that you like you must have done something wrong but actually like it's the brutal nature of tournaments. Honestly, you can play really, really well and do really, really badly, especially on a Sunday. But yeah, I feel a little bit dejected and disappointed. I'm not entirely sure why. I mean, honestly, I've just spent the last six hours sitting in the office playing a video game. So there's absolutely no reason why I should feel like down or upset or emotional, but I do. And I'm gonna take some time now just to probably meditate, chill out, relax, and, and come back next Sunday. 
Thanks for tuning in and I appreciate the support and I thank you so much for, for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it and you want to see what happens next Sunday and see if we can get our mindset right, then make sure you hit subscribe and uh, yeah, I will see you soon. Take care guys, have a great week, bye.